Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Ken Elliott. And big data is a major topic of conversation here at HP Discover, but how is that impacting analytics? Yeah, so when we talk about big data, certainly we have a lot of customers that are still wrestling with their traditional data, you know, getting customer information together, or supply chain data, but big data is really bringing in new forms of data, so sensor data or, or text data, video data coming through, real-time information, and so trying to wrestle with uh, doing analytics on top of that data is a challenge. So that, that's introducing kind of new methods and new techniques for how to take that data and find patterns in that information that are meaningful. Uh, new tools and technologies are actually being introduced to actually leverage that information and find meaning in that data. And then, of course, all that, that relates to new skills required, so the retraining data scientists on how to apply these, these skills. And, and then there's actually a, a whole a new expectation around speed and, and performance and insights, and so that, that brings in new business processes that are required to actually manage an analytic process that traditionally was you know, offline and you know, analytics were doing, analysts were doing analytics in, their, in, in silos and things like that. So it's actually having a major impact on how people analyze data today. So you would think with all that we hear about big data here that, that everybody is already um, you know, on, on using Hadoop for absolutely everything and, right. and analyzing everything down to being able to make instant decisions, but I, I'm guessing that's not really the case. I mean, the, the customers are, are probably not 100% there yet. Right, right, yeah, and, and there are certainly customers that are, right, some of the, you, you hear a lot more about the customers that are making great advances in this space, you know, whether it's LinkedIn or, or, or um, you know, eBay or Google and these kind of guys, and they're setting, kind of setting the pace, but yeah, so a lot of customers are still trying to figure it out, right, and they're saying, well, I've got all these new demands, i got all this information, and, and how do I get started, and so, they're, um, they're everywhere from saying, look, I, I need to figure out, I don't have the capital to, to invest in all these big Hadoop clusters, and I don't have the skills. How do I get started? How do I determine whether or not this is an area to invest in? Right? So they're really kind of in a discovery phase. And so we actually have offerings where we, we have hosted platforms that our customers can leverage and, and try these, these capabilities out and, and validate and do the proof of value on that data and then, uh, then determine how they want to actually leverage uh, analytics and how they want to leverage big data in their enterprise. So, so a lot of customers are still kind of at that space, which is more of a discovery kind of space. And then, uh, and then of course, we have customers that are more, are more advanced and they're saying, look, we have analytics uh, going our, around our enterprise. We have data scientists in various pockets. And the challenge we have is, is while these data scientists are creating great insights you know, with this data, uh, we're not seeing it kind of go all the way through to the business process. So how do I how do I take these analytic models and all this insight and then uh, push it up into the front line and, and and have it really have a meaningful impact on my business? So we call that kind of operationalizing analytics, and so that's a big challenge for a large portion of our customers. How do I kind of migrate intelligence out to the front line? Yeah. So how how do you do that at kind of a very high level? Because I know everybody's everybody's individual business case is very unique, but how, how do you kind of help people? move through to being able to operationalize their analytics. Yeah, yeah, so it really depends on where they are in the journey, right? So again, um, for customers who are kind of new in this journey, we actually do those proof of values and get them started on the journey. And then and then once they find that there's value in the analytics, then it's a matter of moving it through, as you say, to, to operationalizing. And operationalizing is really getting to the point where you realize that these, these models that you're generating that are kind of making business decisions for you, they're, they're an asset to your company and they need to be treated as an asset. Today, analytics is kind of done most of the time, you know, with, you know, in the back office with some team of data scientists that do something really smart. Um, but then the, the models that they're building, the insights that they're building, if they're making financially impactful decisions, kind of need to be treated like an asset and say, well, how do I, how do I take that, that model, uh, manage it in a rigorous way, you know, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a kind of an enterprise way, and then hook that into my business process, hook it into applications, uh, monitor its performance, manage, govern it. Uh, so we have a great practice on information governance that's around how do you manage policies and business decisions around these kinds of things. So it's really kind of a maturation of taking analytics uh, and then helping it go through the life cycle where you're actually turning that into something that's going to have a, a broader impact on your organization. Yeah. So it's really kind of the concept of taking insights and, and allowing people to apply them to making decisions. Yes, that's right. So making decisions. And so there's there's a, just as much of a business process aspect of that, which is kind of, you know, now how do I make decisions? So now it's about kind of tweaking models and, and, and allowing an, an intelligent model to make decisions for you on the front line. So it's kind of like business process change that's required. Uh, and then, of course, behind that, there's technology required to support that. You have to have the right tools and infrastructure and, and, and so on. And, and so it's really interesting because it's bringing together the business, which has traditionally kind of done a lot of shadow an analytics. Uh, and in order to do what we're talking about, you have to have a tight relationship with IT. So now you've got, a, you've got this kind of merger of business and IT that have to come together because no longer can the business do these great analytics on their own, on their desktops. They have to rely on IT systems, and now IT can, it has the opportunity to step up and be more 
you know, collaborative with the business and, and be more at the, at the board level helping solve business problems. So it's a really interesting transition right now in the analytics space. And I think if I was to pick a kind of an overarching theme of uh, Discovery, it really is kind of that, that unifying of business and IT coming together to right. solve business problems. That's right. Yeah, you see it uh, walking up and down. I mean, as an analytic person, when I walk up and down the aisles in Discovery, you look at our hardware solutions or our software solutions or security solutions, and there's always an analytic theme underneath them, right? So it's kind of interesting to see. But yeah, and that's exactly what it is. It's how do we take these applications, these technologies that, that our customers are dealing with, and really help them connect to business results? Because at the end of the day, I think there's a lot of fatigue right now. And I've already spent a lot of money on data warehousing, and there was a big bust, right? And, and I spent a lot of money on Hadoop, so we got a lot of customers that look, I've just invested a lot in Hadoop and I'm, I've got this big data lake now and and IT in the business is you know stressing back to IT, well, you know, where's the business benefit? How do I we're spending all this money, but I'm still, you know, struggling to compete and I'm still struggling with these business problems. Help me, IT, right? So there's this big kind of an enamored with everybody's enamored with all these technologies, but if you don't really understand how to flow that through and kind of connect the dots to business processes and business solutions, you know, you're really throwing your money down the drain. All right, well, Ken, it sounds like sure. uh, your team is uh, helping people make sure to, they can figure out how to use that. That's right.